Alright guys, how you doing? It's Rabia. Hope everyone's well. Uh, yeah, this is massive update video basically. It's, uh, I haven't made a video since I've been away from Rob's wedding, so this is the first one. Um, Rob's wedding was incredible. It was an absolute privilege and pleasure to be there as best man. My speech went amazingly well. Uh, I was worried about it and I did start writing it the morning of the wedding, but that's besides the point. It was great. Uh, really happy for Rob and Nat and it's just amazing to see one of my best friends get married. Um, thank you to everyone who wished him all the best for him and his wife. Um, but yeah, that was great. There's been all sorts in the pipeline for the last maybe couple of months. But yeah, basically, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> anyway, sorry about that. So there's a few other things to tell you. Um, some exciting stuff and some stuff that you may not be aware of. Um, so firstly, uh, it's absolutely my greatest excitement to, to show you guys that we've finally finished um, my signature plectrum with Hawk Picks. So they come in two colours, and this is the first one. As you can see, it's my face. Uh, and these are Jazz XL, uh, Jazz 3XL shape. This is the other side, as you can see. It's a bit of a more dispersed uh, thumb grip um, because I've got big thumbs. Yeah, 1.4 millimeter. They're made from casein, which is, I believe is a very, very similar material to a, a popular pick company. And it kind of replicates tortoise shell style durability and tone. Um, I love them. It felt like home because I already used the Ultex. But this was just a little bit thinner, a bit more articulate, and the sound was sweeter. There was less of a clink on the string as the pick hits. So yeah, basically, I've got my own signature pick now. I'm very proud. These are going to be available. Uh, through Andertons and Rift City Guitar, so you'll be able to get your hands on one of these. I strongly recommend you try them because uh, not only for the reason that it's a great pick, obviously it's a, a signature pick, it has my face on it, but really the main point to make here is that it's a great plectrum. So, And it also comes in a nice red as you can see, uh, same idea on that side as well. Next up, something even more exciting to talk about, which is Dorje going on tour with In Me. Now, uh, hopefully you guys know who In Me are, because they were really popular when I was like, I believe when I was in school, so like around 2002, 2003, they came out, uh, and they they released some wicked albums, Overgrown Eden, things like that, and uh, basically, they're awesome, really tight band, great vocalist, Dave McPherson. Uh, he also does his acoustic stuff, so, so please check out In Me. And you know uh, that tour is going to be happening in, happening in September. Uh, it's only five dates, but Dorje are going to be supporting every show. So please come and check us out. Please come and see in me and uh, come and say hello. Next up. My other band, Tosca, uh, if some of you aren't aware of it, um, I'll put a link in the description below to a couple of videos that you can check us out doing our heavy progressive thing. Uh, we've been gigging uh, around locally and, and just around the area in the background of Dorje um, just to, you know, vent our progressive uh, needs. Um, it's great fun. Anyone who doesn't know what, who Tosca are, it's me, Dave and Ben. Um, same guys from Dorje. We, we've been playing together for so many years now that um, we've always loved heavy progressive music, so that's kind of where we came from before Dorje. So it's nice to go back to that and play some crazy technical stuff. Um, but yeah, we've been gigging around and we have another gig at the end of this month on the 31st of July at Camden Barfly in London. So anyone who's in the area, anyone that's in London around that weekend who fancies coming to see some live music, please come and check out Tosca. Um, uh, we're opening the night, we're supporting a really cool band called Heights. Anyone who's unfamiliar with the band Heights, the drummer Jay from Tesseract is their drummer in Heights and they do the very similar thing. It's kind of progressive, jazz influence, kind of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, 31st of July, Camden Barfly, please come and check us out. Now 
Now lastly, I just wanted to touch on uh, the competition that I'm running at the minute with Musicism, which is a huge competition. Uh, we're giving away so much gear. Basically, you're going to be winning, you know, a couple of thousand pounds worth of gear. You know, from everything from a load of Dear Diario goodies, you know, cables and merch, hoodies and t-shirts and strings, um, through to an actual full electric guitar from Schecter, and it's uh, it's the soloist platinum, I believe. It's a single cut guitar. Uh, it's an absolute beast. It's got AMGs, and it's just a beast. It's an awesome guitar. I was playing it for the video. There's so much cool gear, and also you get a full year's membership to uh, Musicism and I'm going to be doing a 30 minutes Skype lesson as well so you can come and chat to me about anything you want to learn um, we'll probably run over half an hour because I like to talk and I like to teach but essentially that's what it is um, and the competition's really straightforward basically on the Musicism guitar course I wrote some guitar solos that, that sort of pinpoint different levels that you get to throughout the course uh, some there's three and they get progressively more difficult so we chose the middle solo, which is kind of, there's a few pinch harmonics in there, it's based around that kind of pentatonic sound. And all the competition is, is for you to go and make an account of Musicism, it's free of charge, get the lesson, check it out, look at the solo, and then I want you to record yourselves playing the solo. You can throw your own spell on it with your vibrato, bends and feel and stuff. Just make sure that it, it is the same solo, and essentially what you do is play through it, uh, record yourself doing it to the backing track that we've provided on the website uh, and then upload it to YouTube and submit it um, and I'll put the address in the description box below so you know where you need to send that to. Uh, I'll also put a link to the video for this competition to give you all the details on all the prizes, put it in the description box below. I strongly recommend giving it a shot because guys that uh, are really working hard to, to better themselves as guitarists, this is a great challenge, it's a great opportunity to upgrade all your gear and then for the guys that are competent, who can play, who have been playing a while, it's a great opportunity to win loads of new gear. Um, and you might find that the solo isn't actually that challenging, but you know, as long as you just get that feel across. And I'm judging it, so you know, like I don't know who, who, what level you'll be at. I'll just be judging it purely on the solo. So it's a level playing field. I recommend you give it a go. Uh, win a free guitar and loads of other gear. It's such an awesome prize. As you can imagine. I'm pretty excited at the minute about everything that's happening. You might have seen the Victory uh, VX, the Kraken, which is an amplifier that I helped design uh, with Martin Kidd at Victory Amplification. And I absolutely love it. I've already got, I'm using them. I was using them in America. Some of you guys may have seen them. I've also been using them on tour with Dorje and with Tosca as a stereo rig. I have two of them already and I absolutely love them. I'm really, really proud to be a part of that project and I think anyone that wants a modern um, hard rock metal amplifier that does everything from pushed cleans, glassy sort of clean tones through to ridiculously like brutally grunty high gain stuff, um, everyone that loves extended range stuff, whether you're a baritone player, an 8 string player, 7 string player, this amp will sort you out. Um, it's got great vibe, 50 watts. You know, there'll be more to come on it soon, and I'll be doing some actual demos and, and some stuff, so keep your eye out for that. Lastly, don't forget that I'm also involved in uh, Anderton's music channel uh, on YouTube doing Sounds Like with my good friend Matthew Hornby. I'm sure some of you have seen them. Uh, they're great fun. It's pretty difficult trying to sound exactly like a record because you've got mastering and mixing and the whole band playing, not just the guitar. And we don't ha always have the same gear that we can get hold of. We're trying to do it around a 1500 quid budget. So. There are certain things that we've learned from doing this first series that will change for the second. Um, so it's been interesting reading the comments and seeing people picking holes in it and stuff. But that's not a problem because at the end of the day, it's great fun. And when people say, oh, you really do sound like that, it's like, well, we did it right. So either way, go and check them out. They're great. So um, there you go. There's a summary of everything that's happening at the minute. Super excited about everything. Um, yeah, stay tuned, there's going to be plenty more content coming your way very soon. 
Um, so yeah, nice one guys, I'll see you soon.